question. What else will I learn? Actually, the beginning of the, the when I got involved with the women's movement, the whole thing was about CR groups, consciousness raising. Now, a lot of people don't even like the term consciousness raising. And I remember when I first heard about it, I said, oh, well, whatever it is, I want to do it because I wanted to get involved. So, <laughs> consciousness raising groups. So, I went to a, a NOW meeting. And the now meetings were kind of creepy because it's the formal, you know, Robert's rules and all that, and it's very laborious, and you're raising their hand, and then they get into arguments, and, and women were not accustomed to hanging out together, dealing with things together, and there was a lot of arguing, and, and so I thought, nah, 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 I can't do it. I, I, I saw it as a bunch of cr uh, unhappy, crabby housewives. So I thought, I'm going to go, there was a women's center, and it was the new women setting up, so they were creating a women's center. I don't even know, was, I think maybe in the village. So I showed up and I said, I'd like to join one of the CR groups that you're, that you're setting up. And they, she said, we don't have any new ones starting. We're it, they're full. She said, you need to start one of your own. And I said, start one of my own, but I have no idea what it is. What, it, what do you do? How do you do it? And she said, oh, it's nothing, it's simple. Just get, get a group of your friends together, your women friends, and, and meet once a week or once a month, whatever you want to do, and just get on the phone and bring them together, and it all works. And I said, oh, yeah? And so this is really my training for the workshops that I ran later on. So I go home, and I make a list of my, of my girlfriends, and I, start, I get on the phone, and I say, do you want to you know, join my CR group? And so I had to explain each one, because they didn't know what it was either. And this is, you know, the grassroots of the women's movement. Women getting together and sharing their experience. Now, this model is taken after the 12-step programs. Remember that, you know, you share your, AA says, um, we come together to share our hope and strength to that we may solve our common problems, blah, blah, blah. And so the self-help model is based on if I have, 10 days sober and you're coming into the group, I can teach you something. I can help you because I have just enough experience that I can. So it was that model. So I think that's cool. All right, fine, we'll do it. And I got, I think, 10 women together and they met in my apartment. And uh, as I'm sitting in the room, I look around and I go, it was the first time I had been in a group of all women. Never before in my life had I been in a room full of women only. Now that right away was a dynamic that I went. Because I don't, Girl Scouts, I didn't do Girl Scouts or brownies or any of those things. So it was women only. And it was very chaotic at first. Because, well, what do we do? Well, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't like a sewing bee or a coffee clutch or whatever, because we were focusing on this, this concept, the women's movement. So if we stayed with first person, that was the key. Don't say you, because that's directive. I sentences. Everything you said had to be, well, my experience or what I found or I'm struggling with whatever. And it was so hard to do that. We were constantly stopping each other because we wanted to do, you know, someone says, I have a problem with blah, 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 and then there'd be three voices that say, oh, well, here's what you do. Now they're going to solve the problem. No, no. This is the mother. This is the mother approach. I'll tell you what to do. You need to blah, 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 blah. No, no. You, we listen, and then we don't have to sympathize. We don't have to correct. We don't have to change. Then it's your turn. And then you kept the thing going. So I was really into this. How do you run a group? And I didn't know that I was going to be doing it for the you know, the bulk of my life, but this is how I cut my teeth. So the grassroots of feminism was women getting together and talking about what they were struggling with, what was wrong, what was happening, what do we need to change, what are we going to do, uh, how are we going to do it, and it was, it totally, it changed my life altogether. So I had that group, that group went on for two years. Then I joined, uh, the next group I joined, were the women that ended up running Ms. Magazine and, and Anna who owns this house and we had uh, the, photog the photographer who's now doing very well, I'm Mary Ellen Mark and uh, uh, a couple of other writers. 
Letty Cotton Pogerman, who still is an editor at Ms. Magazine. And so these were the, uh, Eleanor Perry, who was a, f a screenwriter. So all of a sudden, this is a, this is a CR group of professional women in the media 